Eva. How are you doing today? Oh, really? What did you eat? Oh, that's very good. I miss you too. All right, God bless you. Okay, all right. Bye. Oh, hi friends. I didn't know you. Oh, here already. How are you all doing today? Hope you're all fine. You're staying at home. You're washing your hands. You're studying your Bible. You're reading your books. You're helping mommy and daddy. You're taking care of your siblings as well. Okay, so my name is Ella. I was just talking to my friend Eva. I miss her so much. You know now we can't go out, so I, I haven't been able to see her. But I'm sure very soon we'll all be able to see again. I miss you all too. Um, okay, so I'm going to be telling you about a few of my friends. So I just spoke with Eva, and you know what? Eva is always cooking for me. I have another friend, her name is Victoria. Victoria always prays with me, and she always checks up on me. And I also have Grace. Grace plays with me, she prays with me as well. And I also have some other friends, well, there are so many, and you are all my friends too. I know you all do have friends, and you miss them too. So I'm here to tell you that it's very good to have friends. In fact, Jesus Christ in the Bible had a number of friends. And do you know that Jesus is your friend? And do you know that you're also Jesus' friend? So yes, it's very good to have friends. And today's Bible story, we're going to be learning about Jesus Christ and all of his friends who were also his disciples. And I'm going to be telling you how Jesus Christ went round, getting his friends, telling them about God, and how they all went around doing good, healing the sick, taking care of people, providing for those who did not have. Have you heard the story before? The story of Jesus Christ and his friends? Don't worry, even if you've not heard it today, I'm going to be telling you about Jesus and all of his friends. So I want you all to sit down and listen because I'm, I might ask, ask you questions at the end of my teaching. So I want you all to pay attention. Do you promise to do that? I know you're good children and you will. So thank you. Thank you, and thank you. Hey, it's me, Megan. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> Whoa, can you welcome our friends first, Jesse? Okay, hi. Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? <laughs> okay, what? I am going to be a blue tornado! A blue tornado? Yes, a blue tornado! Can you believe it? Jesse, maybe you could tell us what a blue tornado is. Then maybe we will be as excited as you are. Oh, okay. I got picked to be on the blue tornado t-ball team. Oh, that's awesome, Jesse. Congratulations. Thanks. I could have been a red giant, an orange oriole, uh, or a green thunder, but I really wanted to be a blue tornado, and now I am! I get to wear a blue jersey and a blue baseball cap. That's fantastic. In today's Bible story, some men got picked to be part of something special too. They did? Was it a t-ball team? <laughs> no, even better. Jesus picked 12 men to be his disciples. Listen to the story. Jesus' ministry had begun. Jesus taught people about God and his kingdom. People started talking about Jesus and the things he was saying. They wanted to know more so big crowds of people followed Jesus to hear him teach. One day, Jesus was walking along the sea. He saw two brothers, Simon, who was called Peter, and Andrew. Peter and Andrew were fishermen. They were throwing nets into the sea to catch fish. Jesus said to them, follow me and I will teach you to fish for people. Peter and Andrew dropped their nets right away and followed Jesus. Later, he saw two more brothers, James and John. James and John were in a boat with their father. The men were fixing their fishing nets. Jesus talked to them and they got up too. James and John left their father and their boat and they followed Jesus. Jesus traveled further and he saw a man named Matthew, also called Levi. Matthew was a tax collector 
sitting at an office where people paid taxes. Some people didn't like tax collectors because they often Aww. took more money than they were supposed to and kept it for themselves. Jesus said to Matthew, follow me. So Matthew got up. He left everything behind and he followed Jesus. Matthew had a big party at his house for Jesus and his friends. Tax collectors and other sinners came. The religious leaders did not think Jesus should be friends with people who did wrong things. They asked Jesus' disciples, why does Jesus eat and drink with tax collectors and sinners? Jesus heard the leaders and said, people who are healthy do not need a doctor, but sick people do. I did not come to help good people. I came to help sinners turn back to God. Later, Jesus chose 12 of his friends to be his disciples. That meant Jesus was going to give them a special job to do. They would work with Jesus and tell others about him. These are the men Jesus chose. Simon, who was called Peter, Simon's brother Andrew, James and John, Philip and Bartholomew, Matthew and Thomas, James, the son of Alphaeus, Thaddeus, Simon the Zealot, and Judas Iscariot. Jesus came to earth to show what God is like and save people from their sins. This is very good news. Jesus told his disciples to tell people about him, and we are Jesus' disciples when we trust in him. Everyone in the world needs to hear about Jesus. So today's Bible story, right? So there was a day Jesus Christ was walking along the sea. And then he met two brothers who were fishing. They were fishermen, actually. Do you know who a fisherman is? Okay, even if you don't know, I'm going to tell you. So a fisherman is someone who catches fish from the sea, from the river, and then sells them to either make money or shares with his or her loved ones. So Jesus Christ met two of those people. One was called Peter. And Peter's brother's name was Andrew. So Jesus Christ met Peter and Andrew fishing. And Jesus Christ said to them, Follow me and I will teach you how to fish for men. And immediately Peter and his brother Andrew dropped everything that they were holding and they followed Jesus. So Jesus Christ, Peter and Andrew started a journey. As they were going, they met two other brothers, James and John. Do you know what James and John were doing? They were with their father and they were trying to fix their fishing net. And Jesus Christ said to James and John, follow me and I will teach you how to fish for men. Immediately, James and John left their father and then they followed Jesus. So now we have Peter, we have Peter's brother, Andrew, we have James and John, four of them following Jesus. And as they all kept going, they met somebody else. Do you know his name? His name was called Matthew. And Jesus Christ said to Matthew, Follow me and I will teach you how to fish for men. And immediately Matthew left and followed Jesus. Matthew even had a party for Jesus Christ. And so now we have Peter, we have Andrew, we have James, we have John, we have Matthew. And don't forget, Jesus Christ was still with them. So as five of them kept going, they met somebody else. His name was Philip. And Jesus said, Follow me and I will teach you how to fish for men. And immediately, Philip followed Jesus Christ. So now we have six. We have Simon, Peter. We have Andrew, Simon, and Peter's brother. We have James. We have John. We have Matthew. And we have Philip. So making them six, right? Okay. So they all kept going with Jesus. And do you know who they met next? They met Bartholomew. And Jesus Christ said to him, Follow me and I will teach you how to fish for men. And immediately, but let me follow Jesus. So now we have Peter, Andrew, James, John, Matthew, Philip, and Bartholomew. I hope you're all keeping count and you know all the names of the disciples because I'm going to ask you. Okay? So as they kept going, they met somebody else. And this time, his own name was called Thomas. 
And Jesus Christ said to Thomas, follow me and I will make you, teach you how to fish for men. And immediately Thomas left everything that he was doing and he followed Jesus and the other disciples as they kept going and going and going. And mind you, as they were going round, do you know what they were doing? They were teaching people about God. They were telling people what God came to do for them. And then they were also healing the sick, providing food for people who didn't have food. Isn't that a good thing to do? Yes, it is a very good thing to do. So right now we have Peter, Andrew, James, John, Matthew, Philip, Bartholomew, and Thomas. And as they kept going, they met somebody else. His name was called Simon. And Jesus Christ said to Simon, follow me and I will make you fishers of men. I will teach you how to fish for men. And immediately Simon followed Jesus. So right now, how many people do we have? We have nine disciples. So we have Peter. I want you to say it with me. We have Peter, right? We have Andrew. We have James. We have John. We have Matthew. We have Philip. We have Bartholomew. And we have Thomas, right? Okay, so now we have nine disciples. So count with me. We have Peter. Andrew, James, John, Matthew, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, and Simon. And they kept going and going and going. And guess who they met next? They met James, another James. So yes, now we have two James. So now we have 10 disciples. So count with me again and help me say their names. We have Peter, we have Andrew, we have James, we have John, we have Matthew, we have Philip, we have Bartholomew, we have Thomas, right? We have Simon and we have another James. So 10 of them followed Jesus and they kept telling people about God again. They kept healing the sick. They kept providing for other people too. And guess what? They met somebody else. His name was called, are you ready? Are you all ready to hear? Are you sure? His name was called Judas. Now, Judas is James, so his brother. So now, we have how many disciples? Eleven. And do you know what God, Jesus said to Judas? Jesus said, follow me and I will teach you how to fish for men. And just like all the other disciples, Judas left everything that he was doing and he followed Jesus Christ and all the other eleven disciples. So say with me. Now we have who? Peter. Andrew, James, John, Matthew, Philip, Bartholomew, right? Hope you're not forgetting the names Thomas, right? Who else do we have? Can you all remember Simon, James, and then Judas? And then guess who God met again? Now, remember from the beginning, I told you Jesus Christ had 12 disciples. So now we've been able to mention 11 of them. So we have one more to go. Do you know his name? Do you want to know? His name was called Judas Iscariot. And Jesus Christ said to Judas Iscariot, Follow me and I will teach you how to fish for men. And immediately Judas left all his other friends, left everything that he was doing. And he followed Jesus and the other 11 disciples. So now we have 12 disciples. So we're going to call all their names now. So we have Peter, we have Andrew, we have James, we have John, we have Matthew, we have Philip, we have Bartholomew, we have Thomas, we have Simon, we have James, we have Judas, and we have Judas Iscariot. Yay! If you are able to call all the names with me, I want you to clap for yourself. And even if you did not get it, I'm still going to call their names for you so that you can be able to know all the disciples of Jesus, all the friends of Jesus. So now we have Peter, Andrew, James, John, Matthew, Philip, Bartholomew, Thomas, Simon, James, Judas, and Judas Iscariot. So yes. All 12 of them were Jesus' friends and Jesus' disciples. And that means that God had a special 
assignments for them. God gave each of them special assignments. All of them collectively, God gave them special assignments. And you know what the assignment was? The assignment was for them to go around the world telling everybody, both their friends, even those that were not their friends, were supposed to go around telling all of them about God, telling them that Jesus Christ came to die for our sins, to save us from all our sins. So that was what they were supposed to do. They were to go around telling everybody about God and doing good things. So just like all the disciples of Jesus Christ, you are also a disciple of Jesus Christ. You are also Jesus' friend. And do you know what he wants you to do? He wants you to tell everybody about him. He wants you to tell your mom. He wants you to tell your dad. He wants you to tell your brother. He wants you to tell your sister. He wants you to tell your friends, your classmates, everybody that you know. He wants you to tell them about God. He wants you to tell them that God loves them so much that he sent his son to come and die for our sins and to save all of us. Do you get that? So yes, my dear friends, we've come to the end of our story today. So I'm going to ask you again, can you tell me all the disciples of Jesus? Hmm, I'm waiting to hear you tell me all their names. Can you say it? Okay, I'm sure if you say it and mommy and daddy hears, they'll call me and they'll tell me and then clap for you and i will give you a very beautiful gift when i see you in church on sunday anytime i see you on sunday in church i'll give you a gift but that's on the condition that you can tell your mommy or your daddy all the 12 disciples of jesus i've spoken about today okay all right so now we're going to pray i want you all to close your eyes and let us pray in jesus name father lord god almighty we just want to say thank you for sending jesus to rescue us Help us to follow him each day. Give us love for Jesus and for the people we meet each day. Fill us with your Holy Spirit so we can obey you more in Jesus' name. Amen. So right now we're going to be learning our memory verse. And do you know what? Today is the last day we're going to be saying this particular memory verse. So from next week, you're going to be learning a new one. So are you ready to listen to our memory verse? Okay, so our memory verse for today is taken from John 14 verse 6. John 14 verse 6 says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Repeat after me, John chapter 14 verse 6. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. So I want you to say this throughout the week, starting from today until next week. I want you to keep saying it. John 14, 6. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. Yay! I know you all said that after me. And I know you're going to be saying it for the rest of the week. So as you go, I want you all to be good children. I want you to tell everybody about God. Tell them that God loves them so much. Even when you wake up every day, tell your siblings, tell your parents. Tell them that Jesus Christ loves them so much came to die for their sins okay and i want you all to remain good children but before i go i'm going to teach you a song i learned when i was your age yes when i was also learning about jesus and he says i will make you fishers of men fishers of men fishers of men i will make you fishers of men if you follow me if you follow if you follow me, I will make you fishers of men if you follow me. Yay! So see you all next week. Bye!